Bellator. I don't think you paint a better fucking bracket. Yeah, it's so, I'm excited for. I'm straight up excited for this tournament. Yeah. I'm, I'm pumped for this tournament, man. Chael Fedor, best fight in Bellator history, probably. And then Brian Bader, Mitrione, fuck. Great. Mitrione, way better striking, faster, more explosive, more knockout power, better footwork. Ryan Bader, phenomenal wrestler. The, 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 these, these, then the, what's interesting is on both sides of the bracket, the matchups. Are- Chael Sonnen versus Fedor Emelianenko. Yep, this could be the biggest, best fight in Bellator history. <clears throat> these are the two biggest names in Bellator right now, outside of Rory McDonald. And um, this could be the business, ladies and gentlemen. This could be the biggest night for Bellator to date. Um, I'm trying to think about the Kimbo Slice, Dada 5000 thing. That had... About two point something million pay per view of buys, but I don't think that was by Bellator. If my memory serves me correct, it wasn't Bellator that was behind that, but Scott Coker was okay. So might as well be. Um, <clears throat> who do I think is going to win the fight? That is a heavy question, man. Every time I count Fedor out, he, he just surprises me, man. That that. That Frank Mia Fedor fight was crazy. I didn't think Fedor was gonna win that. Like I really didn't, man. And he just came out with the knockout. Boom! KO over. Yeah, man, that that was <sighs> But then you have to go back to what Chael said, guys. Chael said that um those pride fights were powered by the Yakuza, right? And um and, well, Chael, Chael being Chael, said that, um, he said that they predetermined who was going to win. So, whoever lost was given the tap on the shoulder before the match, but the winner didn't know that it was all orchestrated, right? He said, uh, they never had weigh-ins. True, I've never seen a pride weigh-in. Um, it is rumored that Vanderlei Silva was at a hip, was, how much did he weigh? He weighed 215 LB, that's 215 pounds, when he fought Mirko Krokop, I believe, the second time. That's heavyweight, ladies and gentlemen, um, and it's pretty obvious they were all jacked, they were all diesel, I mean, look at Fabrizio Verdum back then. Look at, uh, okay, now, nah, Alistair Oveen was pretty skinny. But yeah, yeah, man, <clears throat> it's just, whew, that's, those are hard uh, so-called facts you cannot ignore in this, but Fedor performs, guys, he, he, performs is the wrong word, he is, he's a great, he's an all-time great, um, I understand when people say, you know, he's the greatest of all time. Um, Eve Edwards said the same thing. You know, he said he's the greatest of all time. I believe you could say Stipe or Kane is the greatest of all time. Simply because they faced tougher competition under stricter rules and actual quote-unquote competition. If this story by Chael Sonnen happens to be true. Now, he also said that um, many pride fighters co-signed this. Uh, Gary Goodridge, allegedly. Um, yeah, man. But let me know what you guys think. Like, comment, subscribe, and I am out.